Hey everybody, Tony George. He's Scott Spritzer. I'm the good looking one of the two. This is the Marquee Matchup <coughs> from Sports.com. I think we should do another take. No, I think maybe you, you should really just cough in there. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, we're having fun on the Marquee Matchup here. Marquee Matchup this week is not Ohio State Rutgers. Right. It's not Nebraska, Wisconsin, as much as I know you wanted it. You think you're, yeah. you think that your Huskers are going to pull the upset. When you say but, Wisconsin, you <laughs> said it all. There you go. It is Georgia, Auburn, SEC back to back weekends for the marquee matchup. DocSports.com. Click the link in the description below. Go get yourself a free sixty bucks. Big day in college football. This is maybe the biggest game of the day in college football, Scott. Again, the SEC takes center stage. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we have a couple of battle tests and ball clubs here. Uh, unlike last week with uh, LSU Alabama that we talked about, where Alabama hadn't seen anybody, we wondered how they were going to react, and we saw early in that game how they did. Going. Yep. But at the end of the day here, you got a couple of guys here that have been uh, smacked in the mouth by some really good football <laughs> teams, including Auburn uh, giving LSU the winner last week of the marquee matchup. That game there in the SEC, they gave them all they wanted sure. and then some in that ball game here. Interesting game here, uh, Georgia on the road here, Auburn at home as a small underdog. What is the point, the inside joke here, what is the point spread on this one, Tony? It is a two and a half to three. Okay. I, I wish I could tell you guys, but I can't. Oh, go ahead, it's our <laughs> second take. I had the wrong no, one. No, no, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, that's why I left the thing. cough in there, because I knew you were going to Well, the, the, the cough was over crap. that looks, you know, <laughs> but uh, listen, Brad Pitt. But uh, yeah. anyway, I, I, there's just been no separation, really, of late for Georgia. I mean, I, when I talk about separation, I'm talking about by an offense that scores a lot of points, because they haven't been. I know they separated from Mizzou when they beat a 27-0. Yeah. Uh, it was Mizzou's third straight road game, so... And second-string quarterback. Exactly, without Bryant, of mm -hmm. course, in the mix. But the last four games, they've scored 89 points, or about 22 points per game. That's it. You've got Jake Fromm completing about 17 passes per game. Yeah. That's it. So there's not a lot of fireworks. This is old-school SEC. This ain't LSU-Bama right. from a week ago where they're mm -hmm. scoring 90 points almost between the two of them. It's almost like a Big Ten game. It is kind of a smash <laughs> mouth, let's bloody up the nose a little bit, yeah. slobber knocker type of affair, at least mm -hmm. on paper. We'll see if it translate translates onto the field. You look at Auburn, you throw out Arkansas over the last four weeks, and this team scored 20, 20, and 13 points. I think this is going to be one of those kind of games. It's going to be kind of a smash mouth affair. Uh, the total's right around 40 and a half or so. I know it feels low, but it's low for a reason, and I do think it stays a couple of points under that, Tony. Well, I, I think what you have here is uh, you have two very, very good defensive fronts that are mm -hmm. going to be very successful at shutting down the run, and then you're going to be putting the Lion's share of the responsibility on two quarterbacks that have not performed well this yeah, year. Yeah, has been okay. Nick's, you can't talk. I yeah. Mean, he's 54% passer. Two, he, he's not his daddy yet, put yep. it that way. Uh, so I think what you have here are the makings of a 17-13 type ball game. Sure. Uh, coin, maybe 14-10, maybe 13-10, maybe 13 10, maybe 7 6. <laughs> I mean, you really don't know Let's what you're going to get out of the offensive <laughs> production out of these guys. Here and uh, you know what scares me? This is the one thing why we don't go crazy. Not that a lot of tolls, by the way, in Vegas, you have you know, lot the limits are a lot smaller than sides, obviously, right. so you can't get all crazy about it sometimes. But the reason it's not a big premium play for me is the fact that you've got a guy like Bo Nix who can throw against great athletes, can throw a pick or two, and one of them is returned the other way for a touchdown, or you get a short field situation for your offense because your defense turns it over. That's the only thing that scares me a little bit, where all of a sudden you've got a 17-13 right. type of game that ends up 27-17 to 17 yeah. because of a bad play or two on the offense. Yeah. So, But I do like it here under. I think it stays under the total. On the surface, uh, uh, straight, just two guys taking a piss over a fence post drinking a beer. Again. Who's the better team? Oh, who better, do you think the better, better team? team to me is the Georgia Bulldogs. I, I, I think so too. And if you can get them under the three, there might be some value there. He's Scott Spritzer, and just for the record, I'm Tony George. I've never been mistaken for Brad Pitt. Although one time, <laughs> although one time on video, Stu Finer did say. I was the poor man's George Clooney, just a little shorter, just a little poor. fatter, and a lot less charisma. Poor? So, yeah. You're talking impoverished third world. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful. DocSports.com. <laughs> if you don't want to be poor and impoverished, come over and see us this weekend. Click the link in the description below. Get hooked up uh, with some great college football plays this weekend. For Scott Spritzer, I'm Tony George. Thanks for tuning in.